morning everyone today is July 17th and it was supposed to be a beautiful day today which hopefully it does turn out to be beautiful but this big cloud came over and it's still cool it's only 15 degrees here um, so hence the jacket yet again um, so I'm gonna bring you into this greenhouse this is greenhouse number one and uh, we're gonna head down to uh, number three and start uh, dropping and looping our cucumbers so we'll show you that but I want to show you these cucumbers we've done so this is something else you can do these cucumbers we have done in um, terracotta pots well they're not terracotta actually Pantera pots terracotta color and I just want to show you how well they're doing in here like they're so healthy and uh, these are going to be ready to drop very soon um, and they started, when they started growing, just come through here, um, they just took off so quickly. And then they had little cucumbers on them. And now we already have cukes that are ready to harvest. Right there. There's Haley. Hi. Nice Canada shirt. Hello. That was a not a nice high. Oh, hi everyone. Haley's a little sleepy this morning. Um, what else do we have in here? We don't have much left in this greenhouse because this is just going to be cucumbers. But we have our salad bowls that we sell at uh, market. This is a great thing to do if you do uh, farmer's markets. Um, we just put a uh, mix. What I did was just had uh, different lettuce seed. And I put it into one big container and sprinkle it on top of these nice little salad bowls. or We use them for herb bowls as well. And these sell like crazy at the market. So what they do is just grab it like this and cut it and you leave just a little bit, like say an inch. And it just keeps growing back. People love that. And we have more here that Haley has planted. These are just coming up. I think she planted these. Did you plant these on, on Friday, Haley? These lettuce bowls? Yeah. So they're coming up and by probably by Friday they'll be ready to bring to market. They won't be as tall as these ones they'll be just short but people like them like that because they grow so fast and we have our broccoli that's ready to go into the ground and some more potted basil and we also have some fennel that has to go into the ground like soon and we have um, Haley planted some zucchini here but the nice little mice or whatever it is uh, it has to be a mouse that got into it and ate our seeds yet again Haley has her kiwis started with a sign. Do not water. No water, please, because she says uh, we're overwatering. Well, I think it's just the soil stays wet because I haven't watered and I don't think. Oh, yeah? It like a lot of, like, I've never watered. No. What else do we have? We have Napa. Napa cabbage. This has to go into the ground, like, really soon. Actually, I think that'll go in today. It's supposed to get super hot. I'll believe it when I see it, but if it gets hot out, we will uh, have to do this earlier before to beat the heat. And uh, so we're going to head down to number three and start dropping and circling. You'll see, oh, you'll see what we mean by that when we get down there. And our tomatoes in this greenhouse, number two, are... Um, ripening nicely. We've been harvesting every day off here. So, they're doing well. Alright, so we are back down in the cucumber house, cucumber and tomato house. Number three, um, what we have done, if you can see here, Haley and I started dropping. Now we've got both going in the same direction. Now we're going to show you, we're, we're going to bring this row back and we're going to start circling to that row. Doesn't make sense yet, but let me just show you. So I'm going to get up here and we're going to take this one. Oh, my tendrils are stuck. And don't be afraid to break the tendrils off. It's not a big deal. It's not going to affect anything. And I'm going to grab this one and bring it to this side. Oh, no, I want to bring it over here, right? I'm stuck. There we go. 
<laughs> okay, so we are going to bring this one over to this side and we're going to start looping. So what's going to happen is this whole entire side is going to come back and loop till we get to the end of here. Then we bring it back and it'll continually go round in circles. So let me grab this one. I don't think I'm close enough. But, and we can bring that one to there. Now, do you see what I'm doing? And then I'm gonna bring this one. Down here. Actually, I'm just going to slide it and then I'll... This is where, obviously, Haley's holding the camera right now, but um, we both work together and she kind of guides the bottom as I am doing this. You don't, I mean, if you don't have another person to help, that's fine, but I'm stuck on something here. And we're just going to continue like this. So... We're going to get to the end here, and we'll, we'll stop going to that side, and then these ones will be leaned this way. And then the front ones will come down on this side, and just continually, every time we move, we'll be going in a circle. So I really hope, oh, I'll get out of the way. I really hope that makes sense. We've done it here. So you can see these ones are leaning oh, this way. It's hard day with that <laughs> tripod on. So these ones are leaning this way. And then they're going around in a continual circle until they get to the front and then they come back this way. So we just keep... So the stems get really long. The stems get super long. Now, somebody had asked how many meters they get. We aren't even sure at this point because this is the first year we've done this and it's working great. Um, so, and what, we, what else we have to do now that we've dropped all the foliage is starting to go down to the bottom. So we're going to, again, trim up the foliage. And it won't be in our way again. Now look at these. Look at them. Look at all of them. They grow so fast. They're beautiful. 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 So we're going to continue on with this. And uh, we'll show you when we're done. Any questions? Comment below. All right. So now we have come to the end. So we brought, you can see the big gap here on this row. We've brought them all forward and over to this side. Now what we're going to do with these ones is, actually, I will just get up here and show you. And I never put my ladder. Right. This one we're going to just now, because there's no room on the other side, we're going to bring this. And, oops, I'm stuck again. There we go. We need stilts. Hey, Haley? Yeah. And we're going to bring this okay. one and just place it to the end of the bed. So like you can that. see where so the hole I'm going is. To, oh, sorry. That's okay. There, I'm going to drop it a little bit more. I could probably drop it one more, right? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, I think I'll go another half. Like that. And there we go. And we lay that onto the bed. You just want to make sure that they're on the bed so that they're not out in the aisle way because it'll just be a mess. And what happens then is if you hit it, you'll end up breaking it off. So all this row, we're going to just now lean, drop and lean, and bring it down. Okay, so just to show you, this is the back and the plants we've moved up so far. Then there's a spot where we had them towards the front, and this is Patty moving them back. And you um, have to be careful, but they're pretty, uh, pretty tough. So I'm going to get you to hold this, Haley, just for a sec, and I'm going to grab my ladder. We need two ladders or a full. We tried with the broom, but I ended up knocking it off because when I was pushing with the broom, all the tendrils stick on the uh, wire and it bounced off. So I'm just gonna, okay, and I'm gonna drop this. So just drop it to what you need. 
you don't have to uh, drop it any certain amount at this point because you just need it for so it reaches. And like that. So there. So this is kind of... All, yeah, these ones are all coming this way. These ones are all going back. And it also lowers your uh, cucumber, so it's going to be a lot easier harvesting and, uh, and clipping mm -hmm. for the time being. These ones on this side are going to have to be done again or dropped again soon. So eventually, depending if they grow that long, the last one on that side... Will, will eventually be to the front. Yeah. Possibly work its way back to the back again. Yeah. So I'm just continue on. It doesn't take long, but it's always better to have um, somebody helping because if you get tangled up and you're trying to hold it, oops, on your own, you kind of get in a little mess. So okay. I hope that wasn't too confusing. <laughs> It, when you're not actually here and hands-on, it does, with videos I've watched, they explain it very well, but it's, uh, it does get confusing if you're not actually there and seeing it properly. So, there, I'm going to bring that over a little bit. There. And we get, we'll keep going. This. So here we are at the front, and you can see this whole side is now strung along leaned over lean that way so now this side now what we're going to do because we're at the front of the aisle we're going to take this one and bring it over here and i think we'll leave this second one because we don't have to there there's enough room now everything is in its place until we drop this side maybe we won't even move this one but we can move it to show them because you don't want it in the walking into the aisle like that. So if I can reach in. Uh, I'm gonna have to go well maybe if I do it from this side I can get rid of this string. We took out a couple of uh cutes. One was uh wilting on us and the other one's just not growing so we got rid of them. So I'm just going to bring this one so it's out of the aisle. You don't have any scissors down here so. And as you go make sure that you're cutting your growth points off or snipping, pinching them off and then you don't have to do it later on. And there. And now we're starting to circle. So when we drop these ones later on, we'll start bringing them over and it'll go, it'll just keep going all the way. And make sure, do you have the clips, Haley? Yep. Make sure as you go as well that you either, if you don't have clips, um, thank you, um, twist it to keep it up because you'll have a lot of new growth or you use your handy dandy clips. And, uh, going like that. But get rid of any growth points that you see while they're low. So you can see now these ones are all a lot lower. They're going to be a lot easier to harvest. And uh, when we bring these ones down, all the bigger cucumbers, these are all picklers, so they're not that bad. Um, but you don't want to be having, using a ladder to pick. So anyhow, this is what we've done. And uh, if you're not quite understanding, you can just leave us a message. And uh, we'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Um, but it's really, it is hard to explain and keep the camera on when you're trying to show cool things. So, anyhow, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And uh, we will see you again sometime this week.